Hello everyone, and this is Glenda Winkleman, and welcome back to Creative Grandma. This episode is just a Christmas in July special little feature to give you some ideas if you're looking to start some of those Christmas gifts early. These are the Christmas dish claws, and I did want to suggest if you're trying to find little gifts, you can take these dish claws, you can get a small plastic jar like this at the dollar store when they start putting their Christmas items out. And what you do is fill it up with pre-wrapped candy, put your dishcloth over the top, tie ribbon around it, and you can get like a little Christmas ornament and tie it. When you tie your ribbon around and hang the little ornament on it, that makes a nice little gift, especially if you have to get for a lot of people. The other suggestion I have is if you can find a jar wide enough with the top, this makes an excellent gift if you make one of our dish scrubbers that I have and put a dish scrubber and if you can find a small thing of dish soap and put in here and then put the dish cloth on, then they're getting a dish scrubber, a dish cloth, and a little bit of dish soap. And that makes just a nice little useful gift if you're trying to come up with ideas. So these are the three color combinations I made for today. Now the pattern is written, you can change colors in any row at any time for whatever you want to do. If you have a lot of red, white, and green, and these do not have to be red, white, and green. You can make them to match your friend's decor in their kitchen. Uh, this one I made using two colors with the red and white. This one I made with three colors. And then this one I made, I was going to make it green and white to match the red and white, but then I decided to go ahead and add that third accent color with the red around the edge. So you can see the variety of the patterns. Again, you can make this with the green and white, change the colors around to suit yourself, whatever you want to do. But that's just a couple quick ideas to give you if you want to get started on some projects. So I'll be right back to tell you how we're going to begin this project. So you're going to need either two colors or three colors or whatever colors you want to use to make your dish cloth. Um, I used a size G6 or 4 and 1 fourth millimeter hook. So go ahead and grab your cotton yarn, grab your hook, and I'll be right back. I decided I was going to remake the red and white one because it just I just love it. It it reminds me of peppermint candy and this one I think looked the best out of all three. So uh, go ahead and get your loop on your hook. I have my white yarn to start. Like I said, you don't have to make the red and white one. You can make it in whatever color yarn you have if you're just going to try and, and make it just for the fun of it. We're going to chain four. Let me zoom up a little so you can see my stitches better. So yarn over the hook, pull it through your loop. One, two, three, and four. Now you're going to skip these first three chain here and you're going to insert your hook into that first chain clear at the end. You're going to put your yarn over and pull it through both loops on your hook. Now this is small and the first round is probably the most difficult to make so make sure when you're working your stitches you're working them here in that little hole not make sure you don't go in any of your chain stitches. Now I take this thread and I just hold it over here and I work my stitches right around it and then I trim it later. So we're going to chain four there's one, two, that creates our first half double crochet, and then we need two more for our chain two. So now we're going to do a half double crochet in the ring, chain two, eight times. So yarn over the hook, insert it in the center, make sure you find the center of the loop, yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. 
you're going to chain two. And we needed to do that eight times, so there's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it in that center of that loop, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through all loops on your hook. Chain two. So we need to do that for a total of eight. So we just done two. Here's our third. Yarn over the hook. Insert it in that center loop of the loop. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through all three loops on hook. You're going to chain two. So go ahead and repeat that around. Do not count your first chain four, but you need to have a total of eight. So one, two, three, you need to do that five more times and I'll meet you at the end of round one. I'm at the end of round one and do not count your first chain four. Start with the next one and you should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you count this one, then you're going, your design won't come out. So make sure you skip the chain four. But if you count this, then you should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So just make sure you don't count the first beginning chain four. And then you should have eight half double crochet. So there's your chain two that you ended with. We're going to go up to our second chain of the beginning chain four. So there's one, two, three, four. You're going to go into that second one here. So insert your hook in that second chain, yarn over, and pull it through. I'm at the end of round one. I fastened off. I left a small strand here that I'll be working my new color over. I'm going to attach my next color, which is the red. I leave a little bit of a length and I just butt it right up against where I'm going to start. Now you can join your new color in any chain two space. You're going to insert your hook and pull that new color through. Now the first three double crochets crochet cluster we're going to work is made a little differently than the rest because we're just starting so we have to get our first stitch started with the double crochet. We're only going to work half that stitch so you're going to chain two. That is the equivalent of a half a double crochet worked. So yarn over the hook, insert it through that chain two space, yarn over the hook, bring it through, Yarn over the hook, bring it through two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook, bring it through that chain two space. Yarn over the hook, bring it through two loops only. And then you should have three loops on your hook and three half work double crochets. So now to make the cluster, all you're going to do is yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops on the hook. That creates your three double crochet cluster. So now we're going to chain three. So we're going to work a three double crochet cluster in each chain two space with a chain three in between. So this is the start of your repeat around. Yarn over the hook, insert in the next chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook, insert it in that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only one more time because it's a three double crochet cluster. You're going to put yarn over the hook, insert it in that same chain two space, 
yarn over the hook, pull your yarn through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. There you have your three double crochet half worked and you will have four loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on the hook. So there you made your three double crochet cluster. Chain three. I'll show you one more time and then you're going to repeat around. And again, I work my stitches right over these strands and then I turn my work to the back and then I just snip these off. Okay. So let's begin one more time to show you. I think I twisted my twisted when I cut my threads off. Oops. Okay, so yarn over the hook, insert it in that next chain two space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. So now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it in the same chain two space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. So now you have three loops on your hook and you have two double crochets half worked. So we, now we need the third one. So yarn over the hook, insert it in that chain two space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. So now you can see you have your three double crochets half worked and you have four loops on your hook. So you're going to yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on your hook. So you just made your three double crochet cluster. So when you're reading the instructions, I do have work one three double crochet cluster because if you're new to crocheting, please do not work three of these in the same chain two space. You only work one. So chain three. And you're going to do it in each stitch around. So I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook. Insert in that chain two space. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through two loops only. So there you have one double crochet half worked and two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook. Insert it in that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through that same space. Yarn over the hook through two loops only. So now you have two double crochet half worked and three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook. Insert in that chain two space. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through two loops only. So there you have your three double crochet half worked and four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull it through all four loops on the hook. You're going to chain three. So go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round two. I'm at the end of round two and this is what your piece should look like. One, three double crochet cluster in each chain to space around. So you should have a total of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're ending with a chain three. And then you're going to join by going into the top of this cluster stitch. So insert your hook in the top of that cluster, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. Fasten off. So now we're going to start our next color. So for row, yeah, for round three,
we're going to be working the shell stitch here. It's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in each chain three space around. So these next three rounds are pretty easy. So let me show you how to start round three. I'm going to insert my hook in any chain three space. I'm going to go right in the first one so I can work my stitches over my ends. I'm going to pull my new color through. And we're going to chain three for the first double crochet. One, two, three. That counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and then two more double crochet in the same chain three space. So yarn over the hook, insert it in that chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So now you have two double crochet, you're going to chain two, And you're going to work two more double crochet in the same chain two, chain three space. So yarn over the hook, insert in the chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So you need one more, yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops only. So there you have your first shell stitch, which is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So now we're going to do that in each chain three space around. So yarn over the hook, insert in the next chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through, Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. That's your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert in that next chain or in the same chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook. So there's your first two double crochet. So now we're going to chain two. Yarn over the hook, insert in that same chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. So now we need one more double crochet, yarn over the hook, Insert in that same chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. So there is your second shell, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So I'll show you one more time. So we're going to do two double crochet. There's one, two, you're going to chain two, and then you're going to work two more double crochet. And this creates your shell stitch. So again, that's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and you're going to work that in each chain three space around. I'm at the end of round three and we're going to join. So you're going to go into the top of the chain three. So count one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that chain yarn over, pull it through both loops on your hook. 
So now we need to get over here to this chain two space. So we're going to slip stitch in this next stitch, yarn over and pull it through both loops on your hook. And then you're going to insert into the chain two space, yarn over and pull it through your loop on your hook. So now for round four, you're going to work it almost the same as round three. You're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in each chain two space around. So to start the first shell, you're going to chain three, which is which counts as your first double crochet. So now you need two more double crochet. So there's two. And three, and then you're going to chain two, and then you need to work three more double crochet in the same chain three, chain two space. So three more double crochet. I'm not explaining how to do the double crochet stitch because you've done it in the previous rows so you should have it down by now. I am trying to go slow so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, if you're not sure how to do the double crochet just replay it back and follow along with the how I show you how to do it. So there's your first shell. You increased a double crochet here and one on this side. So now you have three double crochet chain two and three double crochet. You're going to skip these double crochet and you're only working in the chain three space or the chain two spaces. I'm so sorry I get my chains mixed up trying to crochet and, and talk and keep everything straight. <laughs> Sometimes I get tongue tied. I'm so sorry. Okay, so now in the next chain three space we're going to work three double crochet so there's one, two, three, you're going to chain two, and you're going to work three more double crochet in the same chain two space. So there's one. There's two, and there's three. So continue around and work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in each chain two space around. I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm at the end of round four and we're going to join in the same manner. You're going to count up to your third chain of your beginning chain three. So one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that chain. Yarn over your hook. Pull it through all loops on your hook. And again, we need to get to this chain two space here. <clears throat> so you're going to slip stitch in each double crochet across to that chain two space. So insert your hook into the double crochet, yarn over the hook, pull it through all loops on your hook until you get to your chain two space. So we're going to start row five. Row five is the same thing, only we're going to do four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet in each chain two space. So let's start by doing our beginning chain three, which is our first double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, and three. So then you need to work three more double crochet in the same chain two space. So there's one. Two. And three. And with your beginning chain three, that's four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so now you're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to work four more double crochet in that same chain two space. So there's one, two, three, and four. And that creates your four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet shell stitch in that chain two space. <clears throat> so now you're going to skip all of the double crochets here and you're going to work your next shell in this chain two space. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that and then you'll repeat it around. <clears throat> Yarn over the hook, insert in that chain space, Work your first single crochet. This is two, three, and four. So you got one, two, three, four. You're going to chain two and then you're going to work four more double crochet in the same space to finish your shell. So there's one, two, three, and four. So there you have one, two, three, four double crochet, chain two, and one, two, three, four double crochet, all in that chain two space, right in the center of that shell. So you're going to repeat that across in the center of each shell in each chain two space. Go ahead and work your four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet, and I will meet you at the end of row five. I'm at the end of round five. Let me zoom out a little. My piece is getting a little bigger. And this is what your piece should look like. So now we're going to join in the same manner. You're going to count up your beginning chain three to the third chain. So one, two, and three. So insert your hook into this third chain here. yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. And I'm just going to fasten off. Now we're going to begin round six. Round six is where we're going to be putting nine double crochet in our chain two space and then we will be working a single crochet in between the current shell and the next shell you're working on. 
So round six is the red round and that's what we'll be working next. So go ahead and pull your, I'm just going to leave this hang and I will weave that in with a yarn needle when I'm done because it's too far from my stitches to work over it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook in any chain two space in the center of any shell around. It doesn't matter where you join your yarn. So go ahead and join your new color and pull it through. We're going to work nine double crochet and again when you do your first double crochet of any round it's going to be a chain three which counts as your first double crochet. So one, two, three. So that beginning chain three is your first double crochet. So now we need to work eight more in that same chain two space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I worked all these double crochet stitches over my yarn to weave it in. And that way you can't see it. So counting our chain three, you should have a total of nine. So there's, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And make sure you count your stitches because if you forget one, then the pattern for the little lace edging won't work because it has to be an odd number of stitches in this chain two space. So make sure you double count each time you do one and that you do have your nine double crochet. So now this is your current shell. So the pattern will say single crochet between current shell and next shell. So this is your current shell that you just worked and this is your next shell. So we're going to single crochet right here between them. Just go right in that space, yarn over your hook, pull it through the space, yarn over, pull it through two loops on your hook. So there you made your single crochet between the two shell. So now you're going to skip these four double crochet and you're going to work nine double crochet in that chain two space. So skip all these and go ahead and work nine double crochet and this will be the repeat around one two three four five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I always go back and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And like I said, it only takes a second to count your stitches. So it's better to count each time you make this nine double crochet shell here than to get clear to the end and say, oh my goodness, and you're working your last round and then you have to rip it all out. So just take that second, count your stitches as you go. Okay, and then you're going to single crochet 
between your current shell and the next shell. So insert your hook in that space between the shells, yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook, pull it through two. There you worked your single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around. You're going to work nine double crochet in each chain two space of each shell. And then you're going to work a single crochet between the shell, the current shell, and the next. And that creates your pattern. So go ahead and I will meet you at the end of round six. Okay, to start round seven, our final round, we're going to insert our hook in that single crochet on the other side. This is where we fastened off. So the single crochet right to the side of that, we're going to pull our new color through. You're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in that same single crochet stitch. Now we're going to skip this chain three here, which is our joining chain three. I'm not sure if you can see it, this red's not showing up. So you're going to skip this first stitch. You're going to insert your hook into the next double crochet. You're going to work a single crochet. Whoops, I grabbed that. Sometimes it grabs this thread I'm trying to work over. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the top of that same double crochet. I don't have my glasses on in this red. I'm for some reason having trouble with. Okay, so there's our first. You're going to skip. Let me zoom in here. Maybe you can see it better. You're going to skip this next double crochet and you're going to go into the next. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same double crochet. You're going to skip the next double crochet and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same double crochet. And then you're going to skip the next double crochet and you're going to insert your hook into the next. A single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same double crochet which should give you a total of four. You have nine double crochet stitches. So you skip the first, you work your single crochet, chain two in the second double crochet, skip the third, work your little shell stitch in, okay, I lost count, in the fourth, you skip the fifth, work it in the sixth, skip the seventh, work your stitch in the eighth, and then you're skipping the ninth stitch. So total, you should have four of these little shell stitches in each nine double crochet around. So then you're going to work a single crochet in the single crochet between your nine double crochet. So right here, you're just gonna work a single crochet in that stitch. and then you're going to repeat that around. So I'll show you one more time. You're going to skip the first double crochet and work your single crochet shell in the next. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same stitch. You're going to skip this next stitch and you're going to work your single crochet shell in the next stitch. You're going to skip this next double crochet and work your single cro crochet shell in the next double crochet. 
sometimes I get tongue-tied with <laughs> saying some of these stitches we're doing here okay and then you skip the next double crochet and work your final and fourth single crochet shell in that nine double crochet group so there you have your four single crochet shell you're going to skip this last double crochet and you're going to single crochet in that single crochet between each of the nine double crochets so go ahead and work that around and I will meet you at the end of round seven I'm at the end of round seven we're going to insert our hook into that beginning single crochet right in the top of that stitch and you're going to pull yarn over your hook and pull it through all loops on your hook and that finishes round seven I'm just gonna fasten off I really hope you enjoyed this little episode. I'm trying to give you ideas for Christmas because sometimes people, when you're trying to find that small present for co-workers and if you have a really large family and money's tight and you're thinking, boy, what can I give somebody that doesn't cost me a small fortune? Little things. Little things are so wonderful. Um, like I said, grab a jar at the dollar store, fill it with some peppermint candies or M&Ms or I prefer sealed candy when you're giving it to someone you're not real close to because they can see that they're sealed, they weren't tampered with, they weren't touched, things like that. Um, so again, just grab a jar, make your dishcloth, put it on top of your jar and you can tie ribbon around it and attach like a little Christmas ornament or a candy cane and then that way they're getting something for something useful something they really will enjoy they're getting a little bit of holiday candy the other idea I suggested was find a jar and the dish scrubbies in my other videos if you make a dish scrubby if you can find the small things of dish soap like Dawn that would fit in a wide mouth container, you stick your dish soap in there with the scrubby and then put your dishcloth on top. If you're making a pair of dish dishcloths, you know, fold one up, put it inside and uh, or make two dishcloths and a scrubby and put inside the jar. Uh, the other suggestion I have, uh, take your dishcloths, make a, make a set of them and then you can just kind of like roll them up put the ribbon around it add a Christmas ornament or a candy cane a just simple wonderful little tiny tiny gifts so like I said I hope you enjoyed this episode I hope I give you something to think about in making some quick little projects for the people you know and please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And Merry Christmas in July, and Happy Crocheting!